Hey yo folks, let's go here, back with more Fire Emblem Heroes. Today we're taking on legendary Lelina, who I did not see coming at all. <laughs> uh, like, she's known as one of the heroes who defeated Burn, but I tell you what, I sure forget about her all the time. This is also her third Cav alt. Every Lelina all we've gotten has been a Cav rider, just a, just a horse rider, I mean. We have, um, Love Abounds, Lelina. The summer Lelina, and now we got this Lelina, Lelina, and of course, regular Lelina is an infantry unit. Alright, so. No, I'm not going to go with this. Alright, so we got Micaiah. She just got Thawney, Drawback, Iceberg, Fury, Guard, Drive Attack, and Mystic Boost. Then we've got Julia with her refined Naga, new position, Glimmer, Castro Sense 3, Renewal, Rouse Speed Defense, and Speed Res 2. Then we've got Freya with her base kit. I just gave her Soul and Speed Res Solo. And finally, we have Legendary Ellawood, who's the one who makes this all possible. I had to give Freya two Dragon Flowers to make sure she has enough attack to get the bonus doubler boost. And even then, she will sometimes steal it since she's a beast unit and she'll gain that extra attack. But he's got his base kit, just gave him Glimmer and Darting Blow. This is one of the few times, I don't really use him often. So, it's nice that I had this idea to do it. Yes. And hey, it makes sense. It's uh, Uncle Ellawood, <laughs> as Lolita calls him. I think she did it once during the Love of Balance Tempest Trials, actually. As you see, Makai handles Lelina, no problem. I'm not too... I'm a little worried about Lelina, honestly. Because all she has is attack and resistance, and her speed and defense are just... Whatever. Just ignore them. But you can't ignore them, because we have damage reduction out there that is speed-based. And, of course, there's one unit that has it that's defense-based, like this Brave Dimitri. But I guess you could worry about it since that's what free to play players went with, I believe. Just you try. The free to play players went with Dimitri. Because he was like the best option. Like, she's got really low speed, so I'm, I'm imagining. And of course, she doesn't come with like an actual. The only thing that helps her whole AoE thing is her sabotage skill. What I'm imagining that some people might do is what I'm also hoping that they do it. Because I think it's the like one of the smarter things to do is if they go with a speed build on her. They go life and death for a lol, speed res, and rouse attack speed. I was messing around since we got to see her stat line during the trailer, and that's what I put together. Because we're like, she's really gonna not do too much to like those spurn tanks in AR, is she? I imagine she'll make her home in um Etherade's cav lines. Let's see now. So like I imagine I mean for one, she will still be a real problem to deal with because it's an AoE on a calf. That's <laughs> immediately to ready turn one. Isn't that that's gonna be something really not nice to deal with. But yeah, just imagine that. Or, well, not, well, probably less so the Rouse, because cav lines are all about being next to each other. So, probably something like Home Calvary. Which, of course, is his own problem, since that's like, um, Panic Manor is a common structure. But still, I think it's worth it if you put Lolina at, like, the edge. Because I don't think people put them in, like, lane 2 and lane, um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 
Well, you never know, people do things. Tend to mix you up somehow. I know I wasn't expecting a catapult to be in like lane seven to counter those um those desert AR maps where the uh hailing tower is in this lane. My turn. But someone had it. And they had Kranya and Hector. That's like a hard counter to those maps. That's a hard counter for sure. <laughs> Besides Lena and such, yes. we got our Christmas tickets, and uh, I did some summoning, of course. Didn't get anything special, except for one thing, and that's a Winter Fae. So I got a Winter Fae, and that was really nice. And she's plus speed, too, so my Winter Fae has effectively been upgraded. My Speed Fae is now a plus speed Speed Fae. Um, cannot wait to try her out. Just gotta level her up, and then she's good to go. It's light season right now, so I'll even get to test her, too. No more mice attack. No more plus defense, either, which may or may not be a problem. But I'm hoping she'll come through. She always has, after all. But, uh, while I was talking, we went ahead and beat the map. <laughs> As much as I kind of want to get Legendary Lelina just to try out that build that I just talked about, that was a build that probably would work best at plus 10. And if the Lelina was plus speed. Which isn't exactly something that I can do. Also, it's weird that this is a light blessing. This isn't the first time though, because they actually did this with a fire Legendary Hero to begin with. It was Celica, Legendary Celica, and she had an Astro Blessing, I think. But, uh, yeah. They... Uh, Thank you all very much for making it this far. There's a little more because I'll be doing some summoning. Leaving it to my past self now. You did some summoning and uh, you got something nice. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. And go past me. You need a little extra. I'm going to do some summoning. Not on Lelina's better though. No, this banner because I got three summons left and I have just enough for four. But I'm only going to do three unless there's enough blues. Mm, yep, yeah, okay, here we go. I'm just gonna hope for Hilda. I hope I can get Hilda. Right now she's plus one. And I'm getting the feeling she's not gonna get much higher than that. <laughs> ah, I feel you. Alright. I think I'm gonna pick Bernadetta. Because I have Altina. Hmm? <laughs> Something good happened to him. Oh, I'll tell to you. Nice. Okay. So it's more dry speed. It's been such a long time. Okay, so I can give dry speed to my Anna without feeling uncomfortable. Just in case I have a second thoughts about who to sacrifice that Anna to. Oh, this is taking a bit. <gasps> yes! What do I do now? <laughs> What do I do now? I just got Bernadetta. Oh, that's okay. I just got Bernadetta. What do I do now? <laughs> what do I pick? Oh, I have to make a decision. We're recording. Oh, she's plus speed. Let's go. Nice. What do I do? <laughs> do I pick Hilda? Oh, she looks adorable. I can't help it. I just had to get her. Yeah, it looks less adorable like that, though. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, but here she is. Here's the new Fae. Just gotta level her up and she'll be ready to go. <laughs> I can't believe it. After so long, my speed Fae is now plus speed. <laughs> and of course, uh, here's Delphia. A nice little glimpse at what she'll be rocking. And I do intend to do a build video for her. After all, this is our Christmas present. <laughs> Uh, I, I, I can't believe I actually got her. I gotta figure out what to get. 
Do I go? I feel like it wouldn't. I feel like it'd be a slight waste to go for Hilda because she's four star focus, but at the same time, why not? She's like, I like Hilda, she looks cute, and I want a plus tenor, but plus one after 40 summons. <laughs> anyway, I'm, I'm rambling. Uh, anyway, thank you all very much for watching. Feel free to let me know how you did against Legendary Lilina. I felt pretty easy compared to most. But, but, eh. What can you do? What's easy for one person can be difficult for another, after all. But, all the same, I hope you guys do beat it and uh, use those orbs and get whatever nice things you want for Christmas. <laughs> anyway, thank you all for watching, and until next time, take care, and I hope you have a very Merry Christmas.